like he's he's an evolving player and you know he's he's making adjustments and these are things that are going to serve him well as he becomes a more complete offensive player but i like I like where he's trending the last several days after kind of really searching for it a little bit. We're seeing a lot of quality at bats now that he's stringing them together a little bit. So where the ball goes, I don't give a rip. You know, I just want him to have more quality at bats, tough at bats. And I feel like, you know, he's starting to feel it again a little bit and hopefully carry this over. Dave. Aaron, Aaron, the last time you guys played the Mets at City Field, it was kind of a, it was a rough couple of days for you guys. You had Severino poke a couple of his teammates the other day do you feel like you owe the Mets one after the last time you guys faced them and them getting a little bit of the upper hand this this season so far well we want to win so I, I mean uh, it's not even so much about the Mets you know it's just where we are in our season and what we're fighting for and what we're kind of going through and trying to get ourselves righted like they're the next one in the way so you know hopefully uh you know we hand the ball to Luis tomorrow he can get us off to a good start it's it's not overly personal for me eric to the right you consistently express confidence in carlos but how much did you sense that he needed an outing like this today yeah a little bit i mean i think a number of our guys whether it's from the position player side or or on the mound you know um yeah when you're going through it you know to to go do your job really effectively and and you know in this case pitch as well as he did yeah that's a it's a big deal and hopefully something that kind of gets him rolling again again like as he's gone through it here these last whatever few, several weeks um there's been a lot of what we saw today just in and around some struggles within those outings. So I just thought the strike throwing and the command today was excellent. Anyone else? Randy? Pete? Ben Rice has had so many big hits, been so productive. Uh, I think lately he's four for 44 with 21 strikeouts. Still mm -hmm. had some power put in there. Uh, are you still like his bats and – or do you think that pitchers are making adjustment and he has to adjust back? Yeah, I think that's part of it. Um, I do feel like he's given us quality at bat still. Um, thought he worked the bases loaded walk today that didn't get rewarded. Um, so yeah, I mean that's like that's part of the lumps you're going to take coming up here. And uh, but I feel like the level of his bat is not changing a whole lot. And uh, you know, but it's you know it's a tough league. Pete, uh, did you consider giving DJ an extra day off, or were you just planning out a one-day break uh, and, and he'd be in the lineup today? As I said, I was not committed to anything, really. Um, after yesterday, I felt like I wanted to give DJ a day. So, um, you know, the natural for me to was, you know, to go Cabrera um, in there with DJ. So um, I was just – it was kind of fluid for me. I wasn't committing to anything. Greg. Aaron, just the, the moment of silence for Rachel Manaya before the game, just how heavy has that been for the organization the, the last couple of days? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's – I haven't had a chance to speak with O yet. Um, I've uh, – it's, you know, it, it's very hard. Um and and just my heart goes out to 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 O and his family and the situation. Um, I don't want to get it too far into it just because I haven't even talked to O about it yet. Um, you know, I called him before, but I haven't gotten him yet. So um, just, I think we're all heartbroken.